Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join in the blessed union between this man, Michael, and this woman, uh, Sonia, in holy matrimony. This is a very important commitment, the highest commitment that two human beings can make to, to one another. It is not something that should be entered into lightly. If there is any person here who has any reason to believe why these two people should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay. Do you, Michael, take this woman, Sonia, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. And do you, Sonia, take this man, Michael, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better and for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. Okay. Now, the reason that we have the rings, the rings symbolize the unbroken circle of love that two human beings who are entering into holy matrimony should share for one another. Do you have the ring? You can kindly and gently place this on to Sonia's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. I, Michael, take these, Sonia, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to always love you, to always honor you, to always respect you, to always listen to you. It goes both ways, don't worry. To always be, be patient with you, and to always be your best friend, and lawfully wedded husband. Very good. You would also place the ring on Michael's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I be wet. I, Sonia, take thee, Michael, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to always love you, to always honor you, to always respect you, to always listen to you. Always be patient with you. And you always be your best friend and lovely wedded wife. A short passage of the entry to the Sonia, as they start their journey together in holy matrimony, we ask that, that you always be there for them, that you bless them and you guide them, and you help them to continue to make that commitment to love, cherish, and nurture one another, and to be patient and always kind to each other, that they may faithfully serve you as your faithful servants, and to love each other as husbands and wives. We ask these blessings in the name of the Father, the Son. Guys, I was married about eight and a half years ago in China. And I can tell you, you can be 
one of two things in a marriage. You can be right, or you can be married. But you cannot and will not be both. It will happen. Put the small things aside. Put your egos aside. Husbands, put your wives first. Wives, put your husbands first. And guys, I'm speaking as a fellow member of the female tribe, nine times out of 10, I didn't say 99 times out of 100, but nine times out of 10, our wives are often right, and it stinks. But my wife, she, she and I both know that she's right, nine times out of 10, but she chooses to be married instead of right. Happily married. <laughs>